Hello everyone. Uh, we are Aile Pathin. I'm Maria Thedosiu, a history teacher and EduLab expert. And my co-partner, Christina Budona, she's a teacher, team facilitator, and EduLab designer too. And today we will represent you uh, our research about uh, ancient Roman form of Thessaloniki through uh, educational live action role playing. Before we begin to present our program, we want to promote this idea that we came up, Ancient Greek Style LARP. Ancient Greek Style LARP is a form of a role-playing game where the participants physically portray characters from ancient Greece. It's a historical-based LARP with an ancient Greek history setting, focuses on social and political understanding of the antiquity, for collaboration and fun. The costumes, as you can see the pictures, look like the ancient Greek clothes, Hiton, Teplos, Timatheon, and Flamis. We are all um, aware of uh, educational guided tools. It's really important for the students, but we observe that students lose easily their concentration. Educational guided tools in an archaeological site are usually more theoretical and refer to a more cognitive part of the students. What if we implement the games in the educational guided tools? And what if we implement EDULA? We are thinking that EduLab is an appropriate method that will help us change the way we experience the history of archaeological site by living a complete and holistic with all the senses learning experience. Uh, the educational program Everyday Life in the Roman Agora of Thessaloniki, an experiential approach with the method EduLab uh, was implemented at the archaeological site of the Ancient Roman Forum in collaboration with the Aristotelio High School. Uh, the children participated for the first time in uh, Edular Gay, uh, inside an archaeological uh, Roman Forum of Thessaloniki, uh, also known as Ancient Agora of Thessaloniki, was built uh, in at the end of the second century and the first third of third century. AD it was built as something similar to the Greek Agora, but with archetype of the center of Rome. Roman Forum was the economic and commercial core of the city, but had also an administrative and entertaining character. You can see some pictures of the forum. We wanted to experience uh, students the functionality of the following spaces of the archaeological site. Uh, like Market Square, the Crypt Store, which was the public warehouses and the shops, the Mint. Uh, where the coins were created, the conservatory, the theater, uh, where all uh, the invitations and gladiator context used to take place, and theatrical, of course, um, uh, performances, and the archive, where, the, uh, where all the documents, uh, the city library, and the temple for imperial worship uh, was there. Uh, as you can see, the conservatory is uh, where the Odeon uh, is uh, taking place. Uh, the square used to be here in a two-floor uh, building. Here is the crypt so store with the, all the shops and the warehouses. And uh, the archive used to be here, and the mint used to be here. Uh, let's see the learning goals of uh, this program. Uh, of course, it's the first one is to understand the functionality of the Roman Agora, to get to know the Roman identity of the city of Thessaloniki and to understand the value of archaeological sites. Um, uh, also, the historical formation of an archaeological site and to combine with socio-political relations, uh, to dramatize the social relations between the citizens through roles in the context of an educational scenario, to use the coins uh, in the context of commercial transactions in the Roman era of Thessaloniki, and uh, to dramatize the way of decision making in the parliament and the church of municipality of the time. The concept of the game was that uh, the, the children were transported to the Roman era of Thessaloniki uh, with the aim of a deeper understanding of the functionality uh, of the places uh, that uh, I told you before, uh, as well as the socio-political relations of the people of that time. To achieve this, the student played roles, performed their mission, and they made their own decision to resolve daily issues. The students wore costumes and used objects. Some of the roles and characters are Roman official, Roman commander, uh, legionaries, members of parliament, rectors, candidate politicians, peacemakers, uh, uh, officers and tax collectors, uh, merchants, gladiators, and of course, 
uh, citizens, farmers, aristocracy, etc. Larpiki uh, began with emperor's edict by Roman official, according to which the Roman emperor uh, gave the title of Civitas Libera to the city of Thessaloniki, that is the title of the free state. Uh, that meant that this means that Thessaloniki has the freedom to be uh, self governing with its own laws and its own localities uh, lords, which was evident through the script. The aim was that the participants um, to perceive, to understand what the free state uh, used to be, and to understand that it, they, it would be possible to have their own mint, uh, which was only uh, a pre prerogative of Rome at that time. It was really important for the city of Thessaloniki. Uh, citizens in the actually the citizens has to be registered in the Roman census figures name origin, age, occupation, just as it was done in Roman times. Uh, then citizens had to visit the mint area where they received coins. During the Roman period, Thessaloniki had the right to create silver and copper coins. By involving the students in, the, in this process, we gave them the opportunity to experience how the economical transactions were at that time. Uh, the persons in the crypt store. Then all the participants had to go to the area of the crypt store. There, participants had the ability to buy products from the merchants located in the area with their coins, Dinarius, Sisterius, Asartia. Uh, the merchants sold wine, oil, olives, nuts, spices, pottery, and the participants had the opportunity to learn through the market various types of vessels, occupations, and products that existed. As you can see, the merchants uh, 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 went to the crypt store, some of the objects, the crypt store, the citizens and the politicians in the conservatory. Students realized that the local society during the imperial times was self-governing, having an active self-government with the local lords. Uh, parliament used to take place, church of the municipality. Uh, so the participants end up in the space of the conservatory for the process of making important decisions on local issues, as well as voting of lords for the position of the local government, like general, high school teacher, and peace officers. Here is a, a, a picture. Uh, here is a... Uh, that was a gladiator context in the theater, in the conservatory uh, uh, that uh, we um, uh, recreate. Here is a, a, a battle again of gladiators. Uh, another big theme of our project uh, was Roman legionaries, uh, where they wanted that they carried out their basic missions in the Agora area. They were responsible for the security of the city and keeping the peace in the empire. Pax Romano. Here are the, some of uh, the legionaries. Now, the result of the program was that the, uh, we gave the, uh, the opportunity was given to the children to learn in a meaningful way, not just by watching or listening, but by acting. It picked uh, their interest and motivated them to learn while they having fun. The participant players were emotionally motivated. They reflected and described the emotion they felt during the educational game. They understood the historical information, of course, and they managed to cooperate satisfactorily and solve their problems, and they were raised in a creative and energetic way. They interacted with each other and came to communication while cultivating the language communication skills, and developing empathy. Of course, they experienced the functionality of the archaeological site as they became part of history. They played the citizens uh, and they uh, made a, a, a trip uh, through time. Thank you so much uh, about this opportunity to be with you uh, in this special conference. Thank you. Thank you very much.